to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. Ye seek trouble? Don't. It'll find you. Pam Paran. Pam Paran. Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor.
Take care now. Oi, Geralt! How's the armor performing? Here to order another? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Take care now. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. That milk guardian emperor could kiss my ass. Crawl back under your rock. The eternal fire will light our way. It's a waste of words.
Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. It's a waste of words. Eternal fire will guide us. I serve the eternal fire. A fine kettle of fish. Help! Oh. Save me! I'm dying! In short, who kisses your ass today? Grad of Eden over, Grad. That's just fine with me. market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some area. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. Lead the way. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. <laughs> That's just talk. Stupid old goat! You stupid! 
Get out of here. Back it off. Not what I thought I'd find. Orson Jr. wasn't a pious man. But there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once. For his life, since the gods disliked Jr., they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret. That at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death. For he had had the courage then to do so. Courage he would never have again. Wonder what happened to him. We'll soon find out. Who? Who's that? Remember me? You. You can. You little ass fucked whore. You... you pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy, you cocksucker. Um, I've naught left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. No! Oh, little shit! Way here, I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. Oh! This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I'd take after you. <laughs> Give you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners. You're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? You can. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> right, all right. 
So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Bravo, witcher! I've material for another battle. I wonder if anyone so, can know the ground. Your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. Not terrible. What I say. What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copy to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. My dad doesn't like elves very much. Are you an elf? Where's this friend of yours? There! Baldo! Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? What's your granddad? Hagar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. You would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Come on, Roach. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! Faster! You're trailing! Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side.
on form and fast as ever. Good race. <laughs> Thanks. Truly swift, this mare. The swiftest horse is worth no more than a mule without a good rider. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... And felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town, not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. I think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. Don't worry about that yet. One thing at a time. You do know you can always count on me. Whatever happens. I do. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves? Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Got 
to be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. Shame the Emperor doesn't have another daughter. We could buy all the horses in Novigrad. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. I believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Inside. All right. Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt.
situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Past burning pyres on the way into town, non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novograd. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. De Vleister rings a bell. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarf and acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Sultan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philip at the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here, 
Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. You can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Thuir, Robert Michele, Alferte. Graham et Thuir, De Agnes Kerle, Es Pirchena a Es Clays. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Was that the past or the future? The recent past. We have to hurry. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe. But still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Like a racehorse. Guess they underestimated Philippa. You were right. She must have changed back into human form. Quick! I see strong magic. We have. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! Stay here, Triss, in case she tries to flee this way. Be careful. She might be blind, but she's still dangerous. And don't hurt her. Stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no one. Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. With your help. Wanna 
help you. Help me die. They are your breath. Long dead by now. Oh, what do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will. Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever. So, very sorry, but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. 
If Emir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who- Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Siggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Dijkstra, Philip is not gonna die. We're done discussing that. Forget about it. Situation's changed, Witcher. She's in a position now to foil my plans. Do you really think I will run to warn the man who gouged my eyes out? I think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will you not throw caution to the wind? Will you not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you all right? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be all right? Yeah, thanks for your help. <laughs>